offense that pile up the assist. Clark, you've come to the right place. I'll tell you what, Kevin, both of these teams really emphasize player movement, ball movement, and getting everybody involved, touches and shots. It makes them very unpredictable and really keeps the defense off balance. And now Washington's starting group. Tyus Jones out there with Jordan Poole. Then there's Kispert. Then there's Daniel Gafford. And it's Kuzma in at the four. And so it's the Wizards getting on the board first. Back to Murray. Jokic sets the screen for Murray. Over Jones. Murray, good. Murray using the mid-range, an effective shot for a good penetrator like Jamal. He's a natural scorer. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. I briefly spoke with Wes Unseld Jr. They've had a difficult time in this matchup. They've lost both games so far this season. I asked him how he thought they could turn around. He said, we have to improve our defensive intensity, quicken our rotations. We can make things tough around the rim with our shot blockers, but we also have to close out on the perimeter. We'll see if they can flip the script tonight, Kevin. Back to you. All right, D.A., we appreciate it. They're focused on defense, Greg. We'll see how it plays out. It's going to come down to hustle. And in this league, you have to be very quick to rotate when you're in help. And that's why communication is so important. Guys have to talk to each other on the defensive end. I heard a coach once say that talking is energy, and energy is execution. Cool. It's held in by Jokic. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Murray kicks to Porter. Denver passing it around. Jokic, that's a two-pointer. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Boy, good vision that time from Michael Porter Jr. Saw the wide-open teammate and then got the pass to him right on time. Gafford sets the pick for Kuzma. Connects from three-point range. Kuzma's got five now. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Now, here's Gafford. And the call up against Jokic. That is his first foul of the game. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Kuzma with it. Now defended by Jokic. And a player opt-out for Kyle Kuzma after this season. G.A. probably hoping to earn himself a raise. Yeah, and he's a worker looking to round out his game and take that next step as he's just entering his prime. He misses the free throw. You know, this Denver team used to run a lot, but over the last few seasons, they've significantly slowed down their pace. And he's good on the second. And the Nuggets, Clark playing slower, more half-court basketball. Why? Well, I think it suits the game of multi-time MVP Nikola Jokic. I mean, the Joker is a maestro in the post and on the perimeter as a passer and scorer. So he dissects opposing defenses from anywhere on the court. And the staff has adjusted how they play to fit Joker's skill set. That's a smart move. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. Jones, the pass to Gafford. And that comes off the assist by Jones. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Jokic, and he comes up with the deuce. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Jones, the pass to Gafford. Kuzma against Gordon. Kuzma kicks to Jones. Gafford is screen on Murray. Pass to Kispert. 
Here's Kuzma. And the Wizards hit again from deep. The timing, the rhythm. Kuzma really does a nice job catching the defense off guard with those catch and shoot jumpers. Now here's Murray. To the inside. And Jokic with the basket on the assist by Murray. Six points for Jokic. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Kuzma outside. Back to Poole. Six to shoot. A three. And the Wizards hit again from deep. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Murray against Jones. Passes it to Caldwell Pope. A three-pointer off the mark. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Jones. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Kuzma with it. Now guarded by Porter. And the shot goes in. That's why me and so many others are so high on Kuzma. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Nuggets. Eight-point game. Gordon with the screen for Murray. At the elbow, it's Gordon. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Wheeling and dealing in the pick and roll. Murray, an encouraging sign of him improving as a passer. Jones, the pass to Poole. Jones with the screen on Caldwell Pope. Kicks it out to Jones. And a miss there on the triple. For Denver, they've gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Jokic with a screen on Jones. Seven foot shot. And the rejection by Gafford. Here's Washington. They're on a 14 to 6 run. The pass to Poole. Now here's Gafford. Pass to Kuzma. Off target from outside. The Nuggets trail by six. Murray surveying the D. Denver needs to get off his shot. There's Gordon with the three, and they'll get another chance. Jokic, no good. Wizards leading by six. Outside, Jones. Back to Gafford. Gafford is screen on Caldwell Pope. Poole finds Gafford. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Washington shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. And that one falls for Gafford. So both teams making some changes here. Gafford cans them both. 2022, Greg, a year for the Washington Wizards with some historic significance. And it marks 25 years of the Washington Wizards name being on an NBA jersey. A cool moment for the current players who can look back on this franchise and know they're a part of history. Now here's Wright following the miss by Aaron Gordon. Wright the pass to Gaffer. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Outside, Porter. Pass to Najee. 
And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, the defender all over. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. This is his first free throw of the game. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw, good. And the Wizards with possession. They lead by seven. Jones dishes to Muscala. Passes it to Kuzma. Wizards passing it around. And it's Gordon with the finish. Hey, listen, Gordon once jumped over a mascot while putting the ball under his legs in a dunk contest. I mean, he's one of the most ridiculous athletes and dunkers we have in the game. Now, here is Muscala. Kuzma with it. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Gordon. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Kuzma's got 13. Put that throttle down. Love seeing Kuzma on offense play with so much confidence. Murray outside. They set the pick. And they double up Murray. The three. Dodgy. Good. So good to see Murray, not just as a scorer, but thriving as a passer, too. Murray against Jones. Shamit, and that comes off the assist by Jones. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's Murray. And again, Denver with the triple. Murray has that spirit of, you make one on me, I'm coming back at you for mine. Jones, the pass to Kuzma. Jones sets the pick for Kuzma. Good on the bucket. He's got 15. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. Without question, Kyle Kuzma displaying his skills today. Absolutely on fire that they need to regroup and figure out a way to slow his role. For the Nuggets, John Jars checked in. And Justin Holliday subbed in for Michael Porter. against Jackson and Holiday has it in the corner and he's good on the three ball 
that's the efficiency you want to see from Jackson, using his poise and vision to make a play. And Wright kicks to Muscala. There's the pass to Poole. Let's a floater go, and it's Denver with the rebound. To the middle. Chanchai, the pass to Najee. Outside Jackson. There's the pick. And the shot is long. Wizards leading by three. Shamit kicks to Muscala. Right, looking around. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, you know, you've got to really appreciate DeLon Wright's uh, relentless desire to get better. I mean, this guy's constantly trying to hone his craft. throw drops for right and so right nails both of them making it look effortless. Send this guy to the stripe. He's going to cash in more than not. Here's Jackson and the dunk by Jackson. Oh, the quickness of Reggie Jackson, terrific. Superb at slicing apart the defense with his drives to the rack. Here's Wright, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And last season, 86% from the line. So he's always had that calm presence at the line, no matter the situation. Guys, I thought he got into a groove last year at the charity stripe, and I thought he maintained it deep into the season as well. First free throw is good. And team-wide, they've been terrific from the line here. Just one of those nights when the confidence has spread from one player to the next. And so Wright nails both of them. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. Trailing by five. Holiday, a screen on Poole. He can't get that one to fall. And Washington the other way now. To the paint. Got a piece of it. And so it looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. seconds left in the first quarter. The Nuggets trail by five. Inside, Aji. Shot from six. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths shooting in the low 60s last season you know yeah guys last year was a rough one for him at the stripe I mean it's going to be hard for him not to improve on those numbers they were that bad no good on that one
and he sinks the second. 17 seconds left to play here in the first. And Wright kicks to Shamit. There's the screen over in the corner of Dia. Back to Shamit. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Wizards lead by four. And we'll get going after this from Ball Arena. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Washington. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And I also like how they're taking advantage of the defense being overly aggressive. We'll see if they can continue to get to the line. And you talk to the great ball handlers, and they say, Greg, that footwork is an underappreciated aspect of it. Why is that? It's like a dance. You're eluding the defender mostly with your feet. The, the ball handling part is just making sure the ball comes along for the ride. They've got Jackson. And it's Jokic in at the five down low. That's the group for Denver getting going here in the second. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. And that one misses. misses and lost his touch right there didn't see that coming usually when he's hot he stays hot Jackson passes to Jokic outside Jackson to the left side wing six on the shot clock here's Jokic down it goes that's four made from the field he's four of eight the Wizards with the lead Right outside. There's the pick. And it's sent back by Jokic. Need more of this from Jokic. When he's active on defense, he's a capable shot blocker. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Michael Porter Jr. was a top prospect in his high school class, but his back injury has presented a constant challenge. He says, it changed my perspective. I'm just going to get up every day and try to be better than I was the day before. If I'm giving my best every day, then I'm good. Back to you guys. Well, you hope he stays healthy. That has been a concern. Thanks, David. The shot's good from Kispert. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Now, Jokic, eight points for him. Trains the three-pointer. Holiday's got six. Boy, the passing ability of Jokic is really something. I mean, he's proven to be quite the capable playmaker. Pass to Avdia. Rebounded by Jackson. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. That ties it up. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Kispert setting the pick for right. Muscala dishes to Avdia. Just five on the clock. Here's the screen. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Jokic. The Wizards have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. Seven for ten.
that one is off. It's the second from the line. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Jackson passes to Jokic. Dishes it to Holiday. To the wing on the left. Shot clock at five. Jokic inside. He's covered by Muscala. And it's Jokic missing. Jackson against Wright. Over in the corner, Poole. And again, Washington, no good. Denver's gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Jackson in the corner. Pass to Jokic. Jackson looking around. Passes it to Jokic. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. Around the hoop, Nikola is deadly. Great touch from Jokic there. So timeout called here. The first for the Wizards. The Nuggets making a switch here. Caldwell Pope's checked in. The Wizards also changing it up. Daniel Gafford comes in for Mike Muscala. And Kyle Kuzma subbed in for Avdia. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. The pass to Kuzma. Gafford sets the pick for Kuzma. Shot clock reset for Washington. Goes up again. In deep, Gafford drops it in. Gafford's got six points. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. Jackson passes to Jokic. And Holiday kicks to Jackson. To the left wing. Shot clock at six. Fires for three. And Holiday with the basket on the assist by Jokic. Holiday's got the lead up to two now for Denver. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for Denver. Only giving up six here in this quarter. And here is Wright. Gafford sets the pick for Kuzma. Knocked away. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Outside for Jackson. On the wing, Holiday. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists in the game. 
Kuzma with a screen on Jackson. Here's Wright. And Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got his sixth rebound on the night. A Clark one stat where Jokic is consistently dominant, of course, is rebound. Well, he does everything well, but you're right. Season after season, game after game, Kevin, he is eating that glass. He stays near the top of that particular statistic. And he knows games are won and lost on the boards, and he wants to be able to contribute in that way. But he is a brilliant, brilliant player, not just a rebound. Here's Gafford following the basket by Jokic. Kuzma, right side. it off the glass. Wow. Denver leading by seven. Puts it up from 17. Offensive rebound. Here's Chancho. Guarded by Kuzma. Here's Caldwell Pope. It's tipped. Here's Wright. Kuzma outside. To right. Lock at six. Pass to pool. And they get it. And another miss by Washington. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Jokic finds Holiday. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. He gets it in there. And now a nine-point nugget lead. Well, you got to do more than that to stop Jokic. I mean, this guy is a master at converting through tough defense. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Tyus Jones is checked in for the Wizards. Here's Kuzma. 15 points in the game. Jones, the pass to Gaffer. And here is Poole. They need this one. No good on that one. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. Pass to Jokic. Outside, Porter. Caldwell Pope outside. Five to shoot. Jokic sets the screen for Caldwell Pope. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Jones against Caldwell Pope. Out to Kuzma. Offline with his three. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful. because This is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. Nailed from three-point land. Porter's got the lead up to 12 now for Denver. How about that smooth shot from the arc for Porter? He's got such a confident release and deep range, too. 
Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Wizards trail by 12. Effort is screen on Murray. Jones drives in. They can't stop the run with that one. Gafford against Jokic. Outside, Porter fires the three. Good, and the assist goes to Jokic. Porter's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Nuggets. At the top of the key, Gafford. Passes it to Poole. Jones up top. Kuzma left side. Let's it fly. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm well-rounded effort and, and they show no signs of letting up almost no holes in their performance tonight they've been tremendous and, and guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now but if this continues it will be for three Murray rebounded by Gafford Gafford's got his fourth rebound in this one Kuzma finds Jones Gafford sets the pick for Jones. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Porter looking it over. Caldwell Pope outside. And the pass to Jokic. Murray outside. Again, the miss by Murray. Wizards trail by 14. Here's Kuzma. Yep, that one goes in there. Kuzma not only has great skill, but his balance is so good. Even when he gets bumped around, he still finds a way to score. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Nuggets. Their chemistry. That's what really stood out so far in this one to me. Look at the number of assists they've been able to rack up so far. And we also have seen them continue to fire from deep. With the results they're seeing, you can understand why. Kyle Kuzma is a guy who burst on the scene during his rookie year and is a fun player to watch. He's a guy that really has an outstanding all-around game. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Wizards ownership has promised to never hit the hard reset button. We saw from teams in recent years like the Sixers. But the fact remains that this is a franchise that last enjoyed a 50-win season in 1979. So for the patient diehard fans in the DMV, seems the wait for a true contender may take a lot longer. Kevin? Uh, well, time will tell, David. Thanks. And it seems as if someone got their signals crossed if he can wind up that open from three-point range. I'm sure that was not a part of the game plan. 
Yeah, rising up well to finish off the dunk with power. Tremendous athleticism by Kentavious, Caldwell Pope, KCP. Kuzma doesn't go that time. Gordon with the defensive effort. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for Denver. 17 points was their biggest margin. Murray the pass to Gordon. They get it back. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Every year it seems as though Jokic gets better as a rebounder. He's done a nice job, actually a really good job at getting position and using his height. The Nuggets shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. And they had a lot of success a season ago as a team, hitting about 80% of their free throws. You know, success at the line just became contagious for them. A few guys got on a roll, and it carried over to the rest of the team. Now, here's Poole. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Murray with the bounce pass. And Jokic throws it down. Jokic calling his own number time and time again, taking over the scoring load tonight. Jones looking for an opening. And Kuzma has it in the corner. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Denver on top, leading by 17. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Without question, Kyle Kuzma displaying his skills today. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. You talk about dialed in. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Checking out now the group for Wes Unsell Jr. to start the second half. Jordan Poole is out there with Jones. Then there's Daniel Gaffer. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. And it's Kispert in at the three, the small forward. And here's Jones after Jamal Murray was able to get that triple. Gafford kicks to Kuzma. Gafford is screen on Gordon. Kuzma passes to Gafford. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And just a little too lax with that possession, and it cost him. And I tell you what, more brain-neutral plays like that one, and they'll have a hole deeper than the one they're already in. Denver leading by 20. Jokic passes to Porter. Back to Jokic. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, I love how crafty Jokic is. You know, he basically baits defenders into committing the foul once he gets deep position. Denver shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Free throw, good. Jokic. Not sure if anybody has a better feel for the game than the man standing at the line. Jokic, an elite company in that respect. He hits both from the strike. 
Washington's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Kuzma with a screen on Murray. And the basket by Jones. Denver leading by 20. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Jokic finds Porter. Murray outside. Pass to Jokic. Six to shoot. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Those three pointers off the mark. Wizards trail by 20. Pass to Jones. 90 seconds now into the second half. No good there. Now Denver takes it the other way. Murray outside. Outside Porter. Passes to Jokic. In the corner, Murray with it. There's the triple. Rebound, Washington. Kuzma's got five rebounds tonight. One of the stars of the 2020 bubble playoffs, Jamal Murray. I mean, remember, he had a 50-point game, and Murray averaged over 26 points, helped Denver make it to the Western Conference Finals. We Jamal take his game to another level in Orlando. Now here's Murray. Ten points for him. Pass to Jokic. And the ball travels out of his hands. It was last touched by Jokic. Just didn't get his hands up in time on that one. They weren't on the same page there. Wizards trail by 20. It's Jones on the wing. He's covered by Murray. Here's Gafford. And Gafford throws it down. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Now here's Murray. And they double up Murray. Jokic sets the screen for Caldwell Pope. Gordon with no one around drills the three-pointer. Gordon's got seven points. Oh, I like the confidence here. Gordon is excellent at realizing when he has room to shoot even before he has the ball. That's what we call seeing a play ahead. Here's Jones. And it's sent back by Jokic. And so it looks like the Wizards will retain possession here. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And this is how you protect and grow a lead, by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Just two to shoot. Kuzma, that's good. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Gordon for three. Another three for Denver. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And the basket by Jones. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. You know, guys, if they're inside, that shot probably gets blocked. But from mid-range, I mean, he's able to get it off over the bigger defender there. Now, here's Porter. He's got six. Steps back and shoots. No good off the back of the rim. Kuzma inside. He's against Gordon. Murray outside. Now the pass to Gordon. And he uses the glass on the way. 12 points for him. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the Nuggets. 
And they've shown great focus on the defensive end, putting constant pressure on the ball and really disruptive in terms of what they've done defensively. And, you know, they've been stupendous challenging shots and protecting the rim. Their block numbers really reinforce what we've seen from them in terms of rim protection. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. for Gafford and so it's Jokic with it he brings it up for the Nuggets Murray right side kicks it out to Gordon that's in there Murray with the assist Gordon's got 11 points in the quarter well you can't let Gordon have room from outside I mean he's more than capable of knocking down those perimeter shots and Gafford throws it down and, and although an undersized center more than making up for it with some serious hops. And it's Murray penetrating. And the rejection by Gafford. Caldwell Pope against Poole. Gafford high post. And it's Denver with the rebound. Jokic is... Murray outside. Rebound, Washington. Outside, Jones. Jokic against Gafford. Outside, Jones. A three-pointer is right on target. Jones has got seven points in the game. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Murray outside. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And Gafford throws it down. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And that's an alley-oop that'll be loop-to-loop -loop all day long on the highlight reel taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Washington calls timeout. Wizards trail by 18. Offered a screen on Murray. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. 
The Wizards have made nine free throws in the game. 14 attempts. And that one falls for Jones for the Nuggets. Zeke Naji, he's checked in for Jokic. And it's Jackson in for Jamal Murray. And so Jones nails both of them. The Nuggets leading by 16. Gordon with a screen on Jones. Jackson kicks to Gordon. To the middle. And stolen by Kuzma. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. And he knocks down the first one. And so he makes both from the line. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Denver. Again, the Nuggets score. And good to see Jackson finish closer in. Not a guard who just chucks up threes. Can find the creases with that handle. Now here's Jones. Nine points in the game so far. Gafford. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. Well, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. For Denver, they have missed a few free throws up to this point, shooting 4-7 from the foul line tonight. Free throw good from Caldwell Pope. A sharp shooter with a quick trigger release. Caldwell Pope is known for being an efficient scorer. And the Nuggets making a change here. John Charles checked in. Muscala, he's checked in for Washington. Avdia comes in for Tyus Jones. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. Wizards trail by 16. Offered his screen on Jackson. Knocked loose. Aston Muscala. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. And so here's Denver. Pass to Naji. He kicks it to Jackson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Denny Avdia picks one up. And how about the confidence right now from Jackson? Not bashful at attacking and drawing attention from there. For Denver, they have gone six of nine at the line. And that one falls for Jackson. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. Oh, 
Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Just five to shoot. Here's Najin. And another miss by Denver. Wizards trail by 17. Avdia, the pass to Shamit. Pass to Avdia. Back to Shamit. To the inside. Stolen by Jackson. Caldwell Pope for three. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Shamit on the wing. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. So for the Wizards, Pools checked in for Daniel Gafford. And Jones subbed in for Landry Shamit. Here's Avdia. No good on the quick three. The Nuggets leading by 17. Outside Jackson. Braun. Started by Poole. Offensive rebound. Braun. The baseline jumper goes down. And the Nuggets lead by 19. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. they got to tighten it up. So hard to challenge these shots, I mean, especially against the better shooters. There's the pass to Najee. Jones against Jackson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And we all know how crafty RJ is. When he can stay healthy, he can lead a team, at least in spurts. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. And that one falls for Jackson. Justin Holliday's checked in for Michael Porter. And a change for the Wizards. Lights checked in. And hits both of them. 144 and left in the third quarter. Right, the pass to Mascal. Kicks it to Avdia for three. It's rebounded by Naji. Naji's got four rebounds now tonight. On the wing, Jackson guarded by Wright. Jackson has the open look, and that one goes long. And, guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. Now here's Jackson. Seven points in the game. Fifty-two seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Six on the shot clock. He's off on that one, and the Wizards now going the other way. Pass to right. Now, here is Muscala. Pass to Poole. Holiday with the puck. There's the dish to Jackson. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Braun misses the three. Avdia with it, and so it's the Denver Nuggets 
holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. And more than anything, their three-point shooting is what sparked them. A fantastic night from long range so far. Right back after this break. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. They've got Nikola Jokic, and it's Holiday in at the three spot. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Muscala dishes to Kispert. That shot off. Good defense by Jokic. And the ball travels out of his hands. It was last touched by Jokic. Wizards trail by 18. Avdia, the pass to Poole. And here is Muscala. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic has got his 16th rebound on the night. Good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. And the Nuggets lead by 20. Right against Jackson. Now here's Wright. He's guarded closely. Muscala dishes to Avdia. They set the screen. And that one, good. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Nuggets. From deep. Washington with the rebound. Muscala's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Now, here's Poole. And Wright kicks to Muscala. Now, Kispert. From deep. And that one is off. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. Right, the pass to Muscala. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Nice floor awareness that time from Wright. Spots the gap and then finds the open man. Jackson drives in from downtown. Kept alive, goes back up, and they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. Jamal Murray, he's checked in for Denver. And a change for the Wizards. Kuzma's checked in. And that one misses. Wizards trail by 18. Here's Poole. Again, the Wizards score. Denver's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Jokic kicks to Holiday. Braun. Kuzma pulls it in. For Washington, they've gone 3 of 6 from the field so far in the fourth quarter. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Muscala. And it's off from three-point range. Denver leading by 16. Back to Jokic. 
Jokic sets the screen for Murray. Fires from 14, and Jokic gets it to go. The assist by Murray. Jokic has got four points now in the quarter. Right, the pass to Kuzma. You know, when Kuzma plays with that kind of tenacity, he's going to make defenders foul. He's a real force in this league, folks. And the first one drops. And Washington making a change here. Gafford's checked in. And both free throws good for Kuzma. Denver leading by 16. Murray the pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. That's in. Coming off the assist from Jokic. Jokic has got his ninth assist in the game now. The Wizards shooting not great. 40% for the game. Poole bounce pass. For the screen on Murray. And right. Here we go. Gafford inside. He's covered by Murray. The shot's good from Gafford. And he can take over in a nanosecond. I mean, once he catches fire, it's difficult to squelch it. Murray kicks to Jokic. He dishes it to Holiday. Murray outside. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. At almost seven feet tall now, Jokic can definitely throw it down. And he's happy to remind defenses that he can do so. For the screen on Murray. Right. Can't hit that one. Good defense by Jokic. Right against Murray. Jokic sets the screen for Murray. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Murray's got ten points here in the second half. Well, Murray absolutely has that range. He just needs to find a look he likes, and he'll knock it down. Poole a screen on Murray. Here's Wright. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First one falls. Jones checked in for Jordan Poole. And so Wright nails both of them. Denver leading by 19 points. Murray outside. Caldwell Pope with the screen on Jones. We have a step back. Murray, no good. The Wizards have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth, four of nine. Kuzma with a screen on Murray. Unloads from 13. Here's Gafford. Out to Kuzma. And they get it back. The Wizards with another miss. Denver's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Murray against Jones. And there's the call on Jones. That's his first foul. So for the Wizards, Avdia comes in for Kispert. And Landry Shamit subbed in for DeLon Wright. Here's Jokic. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Six to shoot. Again, the miss by Murray. Wizards trailed by 19. 
Avdia, the pass to Jones. Gafford with the ball. Kuzma kicks to Shamit. Over Caldwell Pope. And again, Washington no good. Denver leading by 19. Jokic passes to Murray. Let's the free fly. Rebound by the Wizards. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Jones, no luck. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. And it's out of bounds. The Nuggets able to retain possession here. Pools checked in for the Wizards. Outside Gordon. Jones against Murray. Caldwell Pope with a screen for Murray. Five to shoot. That's good from Caldwell Pope on the assist by Murray. I think Caldwell Pope has done a nice job developing into a legit deep ball threat. Kuzma with a screen on Murray. Jones drives in. He doesn't hit that one. Gordon with the defensive effort. Nuggets have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%, 7 of 14. Gordon with a screen on Jones. Passes it to Jokic. The kick out to Porter. Another three for Denver. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. You know what? Teams can get a little three happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. Now here's Kuzma. Dishes it to Avdia. Back to Kuzma. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Gordon's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Jokic passes to Porter. And finished off by Porter. Well, when you've got Porter's length, this is what you can do. It makes it easy to get to the rim for the throw down. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Kuzma can't get it to go. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. The pass to Murray. For the three. The shot comes out. Now the Wizards take it the other way. Poole kicks to Jones. Offered a screen on Murray. Here's Jones, and it's sent back by Jokic. Caldwell Pope against Jones. That one drops for him. Caldwell Pope's got five points now this quarter. I think it's important that Caldwell Pope makes these shots, showing real toughness converting through contact. And the call up against Jokic. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. And guys, at this point, just a side note, they, they've got this one sewn up. He's probably headed to the bench one way or the other. Pass to Poole. Outside, Jones. Pass to Poole. Four on the shot clock. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Braun. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Washington has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Now, here's Gafford. Poked away. Here's Avdia. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line.
First free throw is good. Both shots good from the stripe. 157 left here in the fourth quarter. Jones against Jackson. To the paint. Kicks it out to Gordon. Passes to Jackson. Murray against Poole. Shot clock at five. Kicks it out to Gordon. Puts up a three. Denver gets it back. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout, big-time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Nuggets. Starting five must have been happy to get so much help from the reserves in this game. And they not only lightened the load, the subs did nothing less than guarantee a win. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Jokic. He did it all tonight, making an impact with more than just his scoring. How about the fact that he got a triple-double? And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Denver making a switch here. John Charles checked in. You know, you look at the evolution of Murray, and it's exciting to watch, quite honestly. He's a combo guard. He's got great range and scoring ability, but I like the way he's developing as a playmaker, too. Now, here's Gafford. The kick out to Poole. And again, Washington, no good. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. Here's Jackson. Gordon with a screen on Jones. Jackson from long range. Drains it from beyond the arc. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. Jones kicks to Gafford. Kuzma against Gordon. Kuzma outside. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Nikola Jokic.